From 16 to 20 May, the United Nations in Vienna will be hosting the annual UN Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice, the CCPCJ. The Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime will be contributing with a wide range of events and engagements throughout the week as part of our broader efforts to contribute to the development of more effective multilateral responses to transnational organized crime. Organized crime continues to expand and diversify, and yet the multilateral system intended to instigate the collective international action needed to address these complex issues is under increasing strain. That is why multisectoral engagement at the UN is more important than ever, and it's especially important that we continue to hear the work and experiences of civil society, as well as other experts and partners from around the world. This year, the CCPCJ will have a thematic focus on cybercrime, and on Monday, 16 May, we will co-host a side event on the ongoing negotiations towards a UN treaty on countering the use of information and communication technologies for criminal purpose. We will be discussing the importance of the input of civil society and other external contributors, as well as what can be done to get the most out of these multi-sectoral engagements. This year marks the third anniversary of the GI Resilience Fund, an initiative which has supported almost 150 civil society organisations and individuals in almost 50 countries, all of whom have worked tirelessly to develop community-based responses to organised crime in their regions and countries. On Wednesday 18th of May, a dedicated side event will hear from a selection of beneficiaries from the fund who are working on the front line against organized crime. Organized environmental crimes are a collective challenge for the international community, crossing borders and causing severe harm. Following years of debate and discussion led by civil society, a tangible proposal has been made by some member states to strengthen the international legal framework. This draft resolution seeks to pave the way towards an additional protocol to the UN Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime on illicit trafficking specimens of white fauna and flora. On Thursday, 19 May, we are co-hosting a side event with the government of Peru, which will explore the connection between environmental crimes and other illicit activities, such as illicit, illicit financial flows. Organized crime and corruption are closely intertwined but our main responses to them through the UN system are governed and discussed separately from each other via the UN Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime and separately the UN Convention Against Corruption. On Wednesday the 18th of May, we're co-hosting a side event to explore how the international community can better coordinate. A specific focus of the event will be the role of non-governmental actors in building a bridge across the different UN mechanisms. Both the multilateral system and civil society are facing major challenges as they work to prevent and counter transnational organized crime. Through multi-sectoral engagement at the UN level, we can work together to address those challenges. We at the Global Initiative look forward to contributing to these efforts at this year's CCPCJ. Visit the GI website and social media channels for information about our side events.